Hey, what's up everybody? Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Oh, I want y'all to check something out here. Oh yeah. I've had these suckers going for ah, about four and a half hours. I got about an hour left. Uh, we are going to do a test today. Um, I don't know if any of y'all are into the uh, drone industry. I'm kind of new into this, but I want to show y'all something I got. I got this little thing called... Uh, uh, Sunny Fire is supposed to be a, a signal booster for uh, Mavic Air and Mini. Um, actually, it's not exactly a signal booster. This thing uh, actually is supposed to direct uh, the direct direct the signal out in front of you. So any signal that may be going behind you is supposed to act as kind of like a uh, little. Let me set you down there. Oh. Supposed to act kind of like a little satellite dish. There, if you see that, opens up. Looks kind of neat. Uh, I got these on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. What we're going to do is we're going to do a real-life test on this. Um, I've seen some tests online where they're out over water and things like that. But we're actually going to be doing the test right here at this location. Now we have trees and everything. The wind has actually picked up a little bit. But what we're actually going to do is here I have my Mavic Mini and I have a controller. I have just fully charged this and I have fully charged batteries. What we're going to do today is I will use a fully charged battery for each level of the test. So I will put a fully charged battery in here. I'm going to fly this thing without, uh, without this, the signal director. And we're going to see what kind of range we get through those trees right there. Now, as we come around, come back, I'll get full range until I finally lose signal. I'll bring it back home. I'll take the battery out. I'll put another fully charged battery in here and we will do it with this to see if our range changes. As a matter of fact, I may do two rounds of each one, two rounds on each battery, two rounds without this and two rounds with it just to see if we, uh, that way we can get a good baseline. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, now I have a uh, fresh battery installed in the drone itself. I also have the fully charged uh, controller here and I already have my phone with the app installed. Now, I wanna give you guys a heads up on this right quick. When I first purchased this drone, I had done a lot of research on drones, but there was one area that I forgot to look at. Now. This particular drone, the DJ, DJI Mavic Mini, uh, uses one particular app. There is only one app, it's called DJI Fly. Uh, if you are in the market and are thinking about purchasing this drone, make sure that the DJI Fly app is compatible with your mobile device. Um, that was a huge disappointment that I ran into. Uh, purchased the drone, uh, purchased it off of Amazon, 500 bucks or 499, something like that. Um, and I got it home, and lo and behold, it was not compatible to my device. I had an Android at the time. Uh, the app is compatible with all iOS devices. I think 11 and above. I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, but android devices it's very very limited i actually found a website later on that had a list of compatible devices but if you are looking at buying this drone make sure if you especially if you have an android device that the app the dji fly app which is the only app that this particular drone uses is compatible with your android device typically it's 64-bit systems if you have a 64-bit operating system on your Android device, you're probably okay. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll try to put a link in the description below to the website that actually shows which uh, Android devices as well as iOS devices are compatible with this particular app. Well, I, we're fixing to get, I'm gonna get this set up and uh, we're gonna get started. We're gonna do two flights without the booster, two flights with the booster. Like I said, it's, it's a little windy. Um, both both of them will be at the same altitude and I'm going to try to do the the same exact out and back through these trees uh, we're going to go not just for distance but I'm also going to see if this little booster actually 
improves any of the penetration to these trees and everything. All right, now we'll get started. Gonna go up to a height around 120 feet. Has some high wind today. I'm gonna shift this a little bit this way, sun. Going up to 17, 18, 19, 20. We'll go up to, uh, going up to 130. There we go. All right, now we're gonna simply move forward. Try to continue the exact traje trajectory with each one. This is round one. This is without the antenna modification. This is using the stock controller with stock antenna. We're at 131 feet high, approaching 600 feet out. All right, I'm gonna ease back a little bit, keep going forward. 630, 640. Okay, we got a weak signal. Warning, 670, 680, 690, 700, 717. This is making me nervous. <laughs> that, and, there we go, went black. 765, we went black at 765. So we're gonna go, go ahead and bring it home. And we will do a second round. So we were at 765. And we'll go ahead and bring it home, do a second round, same way. And see what we get. Landing. All right. Done a landing. Now we're going to do round two at a 87, uh, 87 battery power right now. Go ahead and heat Take them up. Off. And lift the home off. point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Go up to 130 feet. Again, stock antennas. Stock. Uh, yeah, stock antennas, no no modification on there. Go up to 130. Rotate it around just a little bit. I'm gonna get that sun out of there. And we're gonna push forward. Love that view. Stay in put. Four, five, six, six forty, six sixty, weak signal. All right. Six seventy, six eighty, seven hundred, seven twenty. 7.30, and blacked out. There we go. And we lost it. All right. Going to go, go ahead. ahead and confirm return. I'll get these numbers written down and uh, preview it. I'm going to bring it in this time. Going to drop it. I'm going to pull the... Uh, stock, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna pull the battery out, put another fresh battery in, and then I will uh, install the antenna modification and uh, see what kind of range we get through the trees there. Okay, guys, I have now put another fresh battery into the drone itself. I have the Sunny Life. Oh, gosh, I almost refuse to call them signal boosters. They don't actually boost signal. But I have these guys attached, and we're going to uh, test it, uh, same route, same height, to see if we can get any better distance. So, let's give it a shot anyway. Take off. All right. 
Here we go. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. 130 feet. This is with the 28, 29, 30. I'm gonna rotate it around this way, get that sun out of the lens. And push forward. Attempting to do the same route as last time. My compass is off a little bit. It says I'm not pointing at the craft, but I am. Four, five, six hundred. Okay, 700. Now I didn't break 700 last time, 760. Okay, we broke 800 and I just got my uh, weak signal. So we are, we broke 800 now. Weak signal, second weak signal. We've gone about a hundred feet further in the trees than before. And I just lost signal at 915 feet. So I'm going to confirm to bring it Go back home. home. We're going to do a second round. That was pretty impressive. We had a, uh, uh, I think it was a, I had to do the numbers. I can't remember how much difference we made there. I have to go back and review the tape. But I know we didn't break 700. We was in the 730s. I got probably about an 80 or 90 foot uh, range increase there. All right, here we go. Round two. Engine Take started. Off. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Feet. Rotate it around, go ahead and get that and try to point it kind of toward that tree right there. All right, 100. 130. And we're going to move forward now. This signal has to pass through all those trees. Again, visually, well, I can't see it now, but my uh, craft is directly in front of me, although the compass says that it is not. Uh, 500, 600, 700 right there. Usually around in here. I would lose signal before. We're gonna break 800 again. That thing just keeps going and going and going. Okay, we're past 800. 830, 840. <laughs> okay, we're gonna break 900. This is amazing. 940, 950, 960. Okay, we didn't break 700 there. I got a weak signal finally. We broke a thousand feet. Okay, this is going through the trees, y'all. Now, mind you, I have not. Okay, that we broke. We're about to approach 1100 feet. Doggone. You know what? I, that's far enough for me. <laughs> well, I just I just lost it right there. Yeah, going ahead and bring it home. Eleven hundred and thirty-seven feet. That is uh Okay, I don't know if there was something. Four hundred foot difference from stock to this going through the trees on the second round. I don't know if there was something I did different. 
or uh, I was at 130 feet. Okay, the first the first round uh, from stock to uh, with the boosters, I got around 7:30, I believe, something like that. Without without the boosters, excuse me. I think it was around 7:30. I put the boosters on. I got I broke the 700s and got to the 800s. And then on the second round, actually, we went past a thousand feet, like 1,100 feet or so. That's through the trees. That's that's pretty doggone impressive. So, yeah. Landing. Gonna bring this thing home. We're gonna close this out. Okay, guys. So I've had these for a couple of weeks, and I've I have not yet been able to just take it out and, and do a test like this. I've seen other tests online. Some of them are positive and some of them are negative, but I have to tell you, uh, these things work. They, they work. I mean, it was 12 bucks, uh, $12 insurance policy on your $500 drone. I mean, you can't really beat that. Um, I was, I was really impressed, especially on the second round where I broke 1100 feet. I wasn't really expecting that kind of results. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll put the link to uh, these guys in the description below. Um, and uh, you get them on Amazon, like 12 bucks, something like that. And, uh, but yeah, I would highly recommend these. Anyway, it's a little, a little insurance for your toy. Um, if anything, gives you a little more control, especially in long distances, if you're planning on stepping out there a ways. But yeah, but definitely thumbs up. See y'all later. Hey guys, one more thing before I forget, if you like the video, please click the like button. If you did not like the video, please feel free to click the like button twice. Uh, also subscribe if you wish, it is free of charge, and uh, yeah.